Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nomaswazi11 and if you guys are new here then thank you so much for watching and if you are returning thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. So on today's blip we're going to be breaking down a brand that I'm pretty sure every every natural hand in South Africa knows and that is a native child right also if you can hear the rain outside, excuse it. It's a rainy day. It is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah. Anyway, we're gonna be breaking that down. So hence, I am in my very natural state, somewhat. Um, there you go. So we're gone. Today is wash day. So what we're going to do is undo these twists so if you see my head it is in desperate need of a wash and these in for like a week or so before i had my hair in a, a puff and then over the weekend then i just braided that puff down um into twists into flat twists so that i could put a wig on because I had a wild night or a wild day out with the girlies actually but we're not here for that it's different different video different content everything usually on my hair what I do use is um, what do I use I've been using Shea Moisture um, for a few months uh, tried it out because I've been buying my stuff at like pick and pay so pick and pay has Shea Moisture and uh, the sizes are a bit smaller so that means it's a bit more compatible uh, with my wallet so I can actually afford to buy it but it is quite an expensive product and so I have been on the market looking for something else to try now I've never actually tried Native Child before yet uh, I've bought it for my family before. I like the price. I bought the entire range. I'll show you guys um, once I get it all out. But I did buy the entire range to test it out. Also bought it at Pick and Pay, and it was what 60 rand. Basically, the price point. Um, I paid 60 rand for a lot of the products, so I got the whole range, or I got everything that I saw in store. So. If I don't see it then if I don't have it in today's video it's because it wasn't there at the Bikin Bay uh, but that's basically everything I could get my hands on and I think what I'm going to do today is I'll probably wash my hair and then to style I'll probably put it in either a br into braids um, Either a braid out or a twist out would be the end goal. Um, probably a twist out. It's just I prefer I prefer the length of a braid out. I feel like I get a lot more length from a braid out than I do from a twist out. But we'll see how it goes. So if you see anything from my head, simply because I did not. Um, I don't know if you can see it's quite dark um, let's see but if you can't see anything in my hair my hair is quite dirty um, I had gel in when I did the uh, puff and so I am now just and I didn't wash it out before I braided it down I just kind of wet it and then moved on to flat twisting the hair for the week but yeah so a little bit more about native child is the owner oh, it's raining raining it's raining okay. Whoa. So the owner is Santo Poli and she started this brand I love all these women that just be out here working firstly 
I, I have no choice but to stand and she basically started it because she couldn't see a lot of products on the market that cater for our hair now I've got definitely type 4a uh, type 4 hair anything else as to exactly the curl type really doesn't matter but I really don't know what it is it's mostly 4c um, but it's pretty well somewhat easy I guess to define my curls it's not too difficult but my curls are definitely very tight very coily and my hair shrinks like crazy you know that everyone usually either is an afro botanics child which i can't wait to try i've only tried one afro botanics um product which was they leave in at the time i wasn't a fan though but maybe that was also because i was very early into my hair journey um my hair is definitely in a better place like as time goes learn more about your hair so right now my hair is how old is my hair one year nine months yeah i'm not trying to like grow fast length or i'm not trying to retain length at an insane rate i just want to make sure that my hair is um healthy that's like the main goal anything else i mean it's nice to have the length don't get me wrong but it's not like the primary goal of my natural hair journey i was relaxed basically all my life uh up until i big chopped and my hair was never healthy i didn't know how to take care of it um so i basically stayed all my life in wigs and braids before i could do wigs and my hair was just very difficult to maintain very dry, broke a lot. So this is like the longest my hair has ever been. Um, yeah, this is like the longest my hair has ever been, and it's it's due for a trim. So I basically take care of my hair. Let's see if I can actually grab it and hold on to it. There you go. So I basically take care of my hair uh, on my own. I I barely go into salons, especially with lockdown. Um, I haven't been to a salon in since March, uh, but I've been taking care of my hair. So my hair is super dirty and itchy. I'm glad that it's out of there. It feels super dry. So what I have in here is just some rice water. And I'm just going to pre-poo with rice water first before I jump into the shower. But then after I pre-poo, I'll give you all the details about Native Child and the products that I have today. Ooh, this feels really, really nice. I know I should actually be doing this in sections, but like, wait. My hair feels dry. Let me just moisturize the whole head before I go in properly. And ah, uh, this feels so nice. So yeah, rice water is not for everyone. I think we all know that. Uh, technically, I've got low porosity hair, so my hair also shouldn't like be big on rice water but my hair loves rice water so this is why i'm like just learn your hair leave everything else leave everyone else's expectations about hair alone focus on you and as break this into sections i'm gonna just put one so i can't find all my clips but yeah you will deal i'll be back once i am done but uh basically same process of just putting in the creme and following up with shea butter that's basically it so i'll see you guys once i'm done we are done um with the rice water application on my hair if you can see it's shrunken it tells me it's moisturized and so what we do is we close that up with a plastic bag and then now we can break down 
all the goodies that I got tonight. Great. The first product that we have is the Native Child Moisturizing Shampoo. Um, there you go. And this is sulfate and paraben free and it is for afro kinky hair it does not say anything about it having no silicones i did read through the ingredients list and doesn't look like there's anything that ends with a comb but i'm sure there's a reason they didn't put it on the label so that's it and then the next product which i find very interesting was also 60 rand this is the native child deep conditioner slash co-wash never tried a product like this so i don't co-wash my hair i wash condition deep condition then style my hair because my hair is super dry naturally so i try to put in as much moisture um, as possible plus because i guess i um, I pre-poo with a protein treatment somewhat so you just want to make sure that like you add a lot of moisture into your hair but this is also sulfate and paraben free and I'm gonna be using this as a, um, a deep conditioner though today so this is gonna be fun and then I also have the castor oil all right just general castor oil hair growth I don't use oils a lot in my hair, but like, because like my, my, my hair is very sensitive to oil. Can't use a lot of the oils that are out there, things like your olive oil, which I'm supposed to be able to use because I do have low porosity hair, but it doesn't work, so we move on from that. And then I got the, this was the, no, it wasn't the cheapest product. This was the, this is the whipped shea butter, um, raw shea butter situation here <laughs> and then I mean what more can I say there's that and then I've got the happy hair hydrating mist this should be fun I actually have since I got the product I've used this once or twice just to kind of refresh my hair while it's in the style um, it moisturizes but it does not make my hair revert which is actually quite nice and then lastly I've got the milk and honey uh, moisture cream and i'm going to be using this as a leave-in you can use it to moisturize detangle and condition so i'm going to be using it as a leave-in conditioner today right so i'm going to just let my hair sit for about 30 minutes then i'm going to hop into the shower and then that's where i'll do my wash and my condition and then i'll come back and give you my thoughts on the products so this is just a quick chicken i have um i'm about to rinse the uh deep conditioner out but i just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like right now and what it feels like okay so wow look at that so as you can see uh, my hair looks pretty amazing actually so my experience with the shampoo is that um, firstly it didn't have like a very strong fragrance at all like there was like barely any fragrance there and um, not even as like a shampoo there was just not a strong fragrance that came from it and then um, Afterwards, I washed my hair with it. Uh, I started the roots and kind of worked my way out. And it really did feel like it was really cleansing, like my hair felt really, really clean. But actually, at the end of it, my hair still felt somewhat moisturized. It, it didn't feel dry, it didn't feel stripped. Um, I've used shampoos that have had my hair feeling parched boy i'm parched at the end of it but this definitely was not one of them and then afterwards i used the conditioner and the conditioner was also not very strong it had like a very lotiony type consistency um as you can see 
So I just put it in my hair, worked my way in, but concentrated just on the hair shaft, especially on the ends. My ends are due for a trim, so I'm probably going to do that very soon. Um, let me know if you guys would actually like to see me trim my hair. If not, uh, I won't do it. There's no need. Uh, but just let me know. But yeah, so this is what my hair looks like right now. I'm just getting rid of the ends because I haven't detangled my hair at all. So um, yeah, I'll probably start detangling now. No, there's no point. Because I'm going to rinse it out back anyway. So I'll detangle after I rinse it out. And I'll use the leave-in as a detangler before I put my hair into twists. Um, so I'm torn kind of between doing flat twists or a twist, flat twist hybrid. Versus just doing a uh, typical twist. But my hair looks pretty shiny actually. Very shiny. My hair does not get shiny. So this is... This is this is amazing to see. It it looks shiny. It doesn't. It feels the same. Like it doesn't feel incredibly soft or incredibly moisturized or anything. It feels good. Don't get me wrong. It, it definitely feels good. But my hair just generally, because um, I've got a very strict hair regimen. I do my hair once a week. I make sure that it gets done. So. Um, yeah, this is not this is not anything that I'm not used to. But yeah, so what I'm just gonna do now is I am going to um, rinse this out, and then I'll come back to you guys and can style it, and then I can go through everything else and let's see how that works. Look at that bounce back. My hair bounce back like I never lived. Love it. Right. It feels great. And I'm back. Hello. Right. So, just finished rinsing it off. This is what the baby is looking like. I don't know if you guys can see her. She's clean. She's happy. She's bouncy. Okay. So, we like this. Right now? Right now, this is a win. So, I guess now it becomes the question of what do we do to style the hair. Hold on. I need to get dressed. There you go. Better. Because, wow. Okay. Um, Alright. So, now it's a question of what do we do with this hair. I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to do twists. Um, so for the twists, I'm going to first hydrate my hair with the happy hair. So I'm going to use the, I want to say LCO method, but I'm probably not going to use the oil. I don't know, I'll see about the oil. But liquid, uh, leave-in, LLC, we'll, we'll call it the LLC method. Liquid, leave-in, and cream so we're gonna use the milk and honey there you go i'm gonna use this as the um cream all right there's a seal here let's get rid of that okay and then yeah so let's begin do I cut my hair in two sections? I can't find my bands. So I'm not sure. It doesn't have a strong smell. Like none of these products have like a strong smell. But this is like a cream, as you guys can see. My hair is really not that black. It just looks black on camera, which I'm not mad at. It's very brown actually. Had issues with that for a while. I wanted like dark black hair and my hair's not black it's brown it's a brunette but yeah it's okay so my hair is still wet a little bit uh got the 
liquid in the happy hair oh yes let's talk about the happy hair hydrating mist it's a moisture spray it's got aloe vera and vitamin e and again it says no parabens no mineral oils or petroleum no artificial fragrance which is why it doesn't smell no gmos no sls it is animal cruelty free as well so this is pretty it's a pretty nice pro uh, product i really like it i don't think it like defines hair or anything like that um, but then again it's not its primary job to do so i just want to show you guys because i have used this just to hydrate my hair when i had it in a puff but this is what the hair will look like after all right so i've got very forcey hair as y'all can see cool so i'm gonna go in with that and i want to do it section by section do it section by section i'm going in with the cream it is very thick definitely a creamy texture Let's see doesn't really feel like it's absorbing into my hair that easily but then again it's probably not the product's fault i do have more porosity here um let's try some more let's see how this works it looks like and cool I don't know if I like this as much but okay and then I'm gonna follow that up with my shea butter whipped shea butter my whipped shea butter somebody play shea butter baby like um, doesn't really define anything if you can see but that's fine let's just hope that the twists work out okay. so I'll do like three at the back do recommend more products for me in the comments below uh, and when you recommend these products just let, let me know like give me a website or something to check out so that I know exactly what the process is um, for getting these products uh, so that I can give you a video but super happy with the results I actually think it looks better off camera it looks pretty good on camera too but like I think it slaps off camera but uh yeah so uh thank you so much for watching uh